Well, hello there again, whiskey friends. Thank you for joining me. I told you I would be back much sooner than uh, the distance between, the length and time, I should say, between my uh, review before last and my last review. So, uh, wanted to get right back at it, and I started looking around my, uh, my friends and family back here, and by the way, I know I always say this, but I wish I could give you a, a and I know I've done this before a few times, but a real good kind of idea of the collection and what all is here. And it's like if I do it every month, it's it's outdated. You know, I'd have to almost <laughs> do it daily or weekly to uh, to give you a real idea of what the collection currently looks like. But uh, today, um, what I was getting at was I started to look around the bar and realize there are so, so, so many good bottles that we haven't really talked about. Um, many I've enjoyed for months and months and years and years and just kind of never got around to putting it, my thoughts on YouTube. But uh, today I thought, man, I want to knock out a few. So here's what I'm going to task myself with. I'm at a minute 10 right now. My task is to knock this out in five, six minutes. Upload, go again. Upload, go again. Hopefully get three or four in tonight. So we're going to move through this a little more rapidly. Uh, OKI, 10 year. The, uh, the reserve, so to speak. This is more or less their entry level. So if you know anything about um, MGI, or I'm sorry, OKI, it is an MGP product. Uh, it is the 64 corn 32 rye. No, I think it's 62 corn 34 rye 4% malted barley. That's, that's the, uh, the mash bill, kind of that famous... MGP high rye um, mash bill. So this is, like I said, their entry level uh, OKI. They, they, uh, they, they've come out with uh, an antique version, which is absolutely incredible. If you ever get an opportunity, go buy that, the antique barrel. Uh, I had that on the Bourbon Trail trip. Phenomenal. They've done, um, they've done barrel finishes. They've done uh, 8, 9, the 10. They have 12 here, uh, which I'm lucky enough to have a few. Yeah, they got a little bit of everything. They do a really nice job of being super transparent. That's what I like about them. They tell you right up front, this is distilled in Indiana. Basically, they're telling you it's an MGP product. It's bottled in Kentucky, right north of the border, uh, New Riff. I'm sorry, south of the river, south of the border, if you're an Ohioan like me, uh, on the very northern edge of the state of Kentucky. I think it's Covington. Um, loved in Ohio. So, OKI. Fun little play on words. So they're telling you right there, the folks at New Riff, uh, I like that. So what this is, is like I said, Source MGP product. Uh, they do a really nice job of giving you a batch number. This particular batch is 16, a bottle number. This particular bottle is 524 out of 620. Uh, they give you a proof on each bottle. This is 97.75, kind of a nice sweet spot for me. Um, Retail, this used to be in the $50 range. Now, at, at, at this point in time, it's in the $150 to $75 to $200 range on the secondary. Luckily, I have a bunch of these bunkered. But, uh, but yeah, um, really nice pour, um, and we'll get into it right now. That MGP knows. Shouts MGP. Pie crust. Cinnamon leather. A little bit of dryness, a little bit of tannins. Almost like a like a cool whip kind of thing on the nose. Just kind of a nice, well-rounded, versatile, uh, nothing too heavy nose. Yeah, in order to meet my my uh my timeline that i've given myself i need to jump right into this so mm. apricots uh, a little bit of like dates or raisins um some like candied peanuts or almonds maybe like a christmas nut mix kind of thing Nice viscousy flavor or mouthfeel. Nice warmth. Um, I love when a bourbon or a whiskey of any sort, for that matter, finds a balance between giving you warmth without giving you burn, if you get what I'm saying. Love that. And they've done a really good job at this. Um, I 
it's corn forward, but which is a little unusual in my opinion because it is a, a, considered a pretty high rye bourbon as bourbons go. Um, but it's just balanced. It's just a, it's just a, a, you know, it's got the blocking and tackling and the fundamentals of bourbon down pat. I like it a lot. Um, would I personally pay $150, $175, $200 for this? No, I would not. Not a knock against the product at all. I think it's an outstanding product. If you ever, for some reason, were able to stumble across this uh, in a liquor store at uh, or, or MSRP, certainly, uh, certainly snatch it up. As for a score, I will give OKI 10-Year Reserve uh, a solid 6.8. Okay? Thanks, guys. Love you. I'm going to hopefully knock one of these out right now. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk soon. You think I was done, did you? Glasses up.